I'm Austin McMahon. I'm a drummer and composer based here in Boston. My mother suggested that I'd study piano at about nine years old, but I, I later found out that my father that, or my parents both had, had played jazz recordings while I was very young, like in the household when I was two and three years old. They played Oscar Peterson and Stan Getz. I switched to drums because my sister was actually playing drums in school band and I thought it was very cool that she was playing drums and I, she was my older sister so I wanted to be like her so I kind of followed in her footsteps but I think it, it clicked very quickly that that was something that I, I actually was excelling at more than she was so she actually ended up quitting drums and I kind of took over. I recorded my first album with um, three really great musicians that are also three really great friends of mine. It's Carmen Stoff, is the piano player. And I met Carmen actually while I was at school at the University of Miami when she was hired to do a contract for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines as a pianist. And we were, were put together in a band with my wife actually singing as well. We were playing and we were the jazz band. We, we played six nights a week and I think, and we learned so much music and I spent a lot of time composing and, and um, sort of studying and absorbing music and also just taking in the, the environment of a Caribbean atmosphere is, was pretty great for the soul, I think. Mm -hmm. But like anything else, it, it, it was a job, so it, it got a little bit old, but I, I ended up meeting Carmen through that and we had a really strong connection right off the bat. She's been a really important part of my musical development and my composition. She sometimes has really, really great ideas for um, changing the harmony, slightly altering the harmony because she has such a, a different perspective on harmony than I do. Kendall Eddy is the bass player on the recording and he's a guy that I play with more than any other musician in Boston, actually. I've, I've probably played with him at least once a week, most times two or three times a week, for almost all of the three or four years that I've been here. We, and, and it's really important to me to develop that bass player-drummer connection, which we really sort of had instinctually after, after playing just a few times together. He's really great to work with because he, he's so solid and I, and I can always count on him to really keep the music grounded and, and he's such a great musician that right off the bat when you put a piece of music in front of him, he'll nail it the first time. And that's something that's really admirable and is very helpful in the process of developing music and organizing a recording because I can hear what I want to hear right off the bat and then I can make any changes I need to very quickly rather than it being taking three rehearsals before we get the, the tune together or something. So, and lastly, Alex Spiegelman is um, a great multi-instrumentalist who, who plays um, clarinet and bass clarinet on my recording. He, he plays also alto saxophone, baritone saxophone, tenor saxophone, and flute. And so he basically plays every woodwind instrument you can imagine. And so anyway, he's, he's really amazing and I really like how he, no matter what instrument he's playing, he sounds like himself. He really brings, there's a whole lot of character behind it and there's a whole lot of energy and he's, he's so full of color and so full of ideas that when he, when he plays my music, I could say to him, for example, on the first track, Vidrio, I, I said, in this solo section, I want you to sound like a, a rock guitar solo, but playing clarinet. And he, I think he did an amazing job with that because it was just pure energy and it wasn't so much about what chord changes do I play over, it was more about the actual energy and the feeling that you're trying to generate with music. 